hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to stay only in the highest of vibrational energy i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white lights okay whatever the enemy has taken from you gain off of your energy without your permission it is being taken from them and returned to you all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled immediately and permanently as we speak Excuse me why I adjust my mic. Oh my goodness, what in the world is going on? All right. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get our angel number message of the day. We have 16, which is which sums down to the number seven for luck, blessings, abundance, good fortune. It says you have in, oh, you have an inquisitive, Lord have mercy. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask that you share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive. Oh, Lord, we were struggling there for a little bit, weren't we? <laughs> in the world <laughs> am, I, am i not awake yet i promise i can read <laughs> oh lord have mercy okay let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading let's see what in the name of source is going on here we have a king of pentacles showing out here maybe going through some type of financial loss because he committed himself to something someone may be stuck in a relationship he's trying to get out of um maybe someone wants to have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else but he's stuck in some type of toxic union yeah he wants to have a genuine connection somewhere else but he's stuck in something that he cannot get out of he may be a little bit embarrassed or ashamed just going through a lot of disappointments and things of that nature he may have been in a relationship with this person for a long time they could be married or maybe this is like a common law relationship where these two have been together for many many years and it's just not fulfilling so he may want to start up somewhere new um but he's going through some type of financial like as well or they could be going through some type of divorce putting an end to this relationship just so he can have some type of new um start new beginning new opportunity somewhere so maybe he's taking his love yeah somewhere else he's starting over brand new taking charge of his life and moving forward um oh this was going to come out in the reverse but i'm going to put it upward because at the end of the day the story is going to come out how it wants to come out oh yeah so he may want he may be wanting to leave his wife she's showing up here as an empress but this is someone that does not exactly operate as an empress someone could be stalking another energy online or in life overall um she may want to keep this masculine close to her she's giving me like the crazy wife vibe the crazy crazy ex lady vibe this is like a stalker okay someone that just does not resonate on the energy they're supposed to as far as them wanting to be seen as an empress energy she's a little bit more on the lower vibrational side this woman is stalking you to see when you and this masculine are going to be connecting now this could be just um, someone that's showing up in the queen king of pentacles energy but you know we all can uh, uh take on these energies at any given time due to the situation or experience we are going through so he's showing up as the king of pentacles in here so he could be someone that's financially stable maybe even own his own business and things like that um but these two are going through some type of tumultuous time maybe they, they've been together for a long time and they're not happy but they are attached in some way somehow when it comes to finances so they may have to divide assets and things like that uh, in order for him to be able to move on with his life okay this woman is watching you she's watching to see 
when and how this man is going to come into your energy so that she can interfere she does not want the two of you coming together someone this masculine could be wanting to have a genuine family connection somewhere as far as having the wife yeah he wants to have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else he wants to start elsewhere take his offer somewhere somewhere else give his offer to someone else and have a new start a fresh start right with endless possibilities and things of that nature he may want to like start a family with you whoever this message resonates with this man wants to have a family with you this is something he's always wanted um to have their wife and children their home setting where it's kind of more on the on the traditional side of things it's what he wants to have he does not have that with the per person he's with right now and i don't think they've quite ever had that this has been like a relationship where they're kind of in two separate worlds but the fact that they're married they're on the same planet you might as well say that but when it comes to connecting it comes to the emotional aspect of the relationship or just being in the same mental space they must might as well be like in two different universes so he's wanting to move on with his life she may be trying to still hold on i'm telling you she still wants to hold on uh, so she's causing some type of stagnation when it comes to you and this person coming together. She may be trying to take all of his powers away. She He may be trying to sneak away, but there's something really toxic that is going on here. Okay. Um, yeah, he wants to go somewhere else. So this man may have gone through some type of awakening, realizing that he has a contract, a soul contract with you or whoever this message resonates with. So he wants to move on with his life, but she wants to hold on to him. She's used to this man being in some type of toxic energy, unhealthy energy, just kind of settling for whatever she's been giving him. Um, they could also be there, there could be some type of truth being revealed that she's not exactly an empress um maybe they're saying that you're the actual empress in the situation and someone has been pretending to be you with that page of swords showing out in the showing up in the reverse that means that this woman is pretentious in some way shape or form she takes on different energies different personalities uh to kind of get people to side with her to get what she wants and to sell this image that's just not who she is right so there's something like that going on here um this man feels like just trapped with this person so at at some point he may end up just cutting his laws and moving on basically kind of just saying you know what i'm gonna go start my life over it's okay you can just have everything i'm kind of tired of going through this nightmare with you because someone is a is like yeah she's a nightmare She's overbearing for him. I think he's kind of just tired. The relationship is not going anywhere. Neither of them are fulfilled in the relationship. Um, so it's kind of something where he's kind of just done. Even if he does not end up with you, Collective, this man is not staying with her. I think he's just kind of done and wants to go elsewhere and start life over. I think there was something where this man is a little bit on the mature side when it comes to age. So he may have kind of just stayed with this woman because he was afraid of having to start his life over. Um, but he's kind of realizing that he does not want to end up alone in his old age because these kind of women, these kind of relationships are the ones where you end up old with the person and you need help when you get older and they don't even lift a finger. They don't even blink an eye. Uh, when you say, can I, I need help or you, yeah, if you even need help with something, they're not getting up to help you. You're basically living with this person and just suffering because this kind of person they're kind of shallow and don't really care about other people they will expect you to be there to take care of them but when you need help they're nowhere to be seen so this man wants to go somewhere and have a genuine equal give and take relationship that has reciprocity and all of that in there uh with someone else and it could be you collective but who knows okay he wants to manifest a new reality with his soul twin so he's removing himself from this situation with this fake empress which is what i'm hearing this is someone that's absolutely a fake empress this would just be someone that will show up in the re as an empress because either they're married or they have children together something like that or maybe even because of her age she may be an older woman compared to you okay so there's something like that going on someone is very delusional in this situation she's i think she thinks that she has the upper hand in this matter but it does not appear that she does it, i don't this is a 
excuse me this is a, one of those situations where a woman thinks that she can hover over this man the amount of money he's going to lose the assets the wealth things like that um that's what she's holding over his head but i don't think this person cares at this point with this five of cups here this is letting me know that this person has decided to cut their loss and kind of just move on okay um, there is something where he may have even tried to reach out to you, but there was some type of interference or he just was not able to. So maybe he's trying to figure out a new way to get in connection with you or a new way to kind of just get away from this crazy woman. He wants to go somewhere else. I'm telling you, you're showing up as someone independent. This is what he's seeing about you. He may have gone from disliking the fact that you are someone independent and don't really rely on other energies for things so now he kind of appreciates that because he sees that you can take care of business by yourself so when he comes you two are just basically complimenting each other um it's something like that but this is an attribute that bothered this person previously is that well i don't see why she needs me she doesn't need me for anything she does everything on her own or he does everything on his own switch the roles apply the energy where it where it fits it could be a man, it could be a woman, you know, energy is fluid in tarot. So I could very well be talking about a woman in this situation. So, but I'm just going to say uh, masculine since this is a king of pentacles, but it could be a woman that this is going on with. Um, but this person has kind of come around to appreciate your self-sufficiency energy, that independent energy you have about yourself is that you have that mindset where, you know, I'll figure it out. If things don't work out, I'm going to stand up for myself. Things are just going the way they are right now. Yeah, someone is sailing onto calmer waters. He's moving on with his life, right? Someone is going through some type of betrayal right they may have done something together in the past that interfere with your resources you two coming together to build something together as well it's that this masculine was possibly working with this woman in the past to cause you some type of ending but the wheel has turned in a way where now he's trying to separate himself from her it's like someone working with an energy to destroy one energy not realizing that they're working with the enemy the whole time so now when he comes into your energy, there may be some type of closure the two of you need to have. He may have to explain something to you. Um, and he's going to need, I guess, some type of forgiveness from you. You two are going to have to figure that out, how much forgiveness you want to give. Um, so that's going to be up to you how you want to maneuver your way through this situation. But just know that there was some type of betrayal that took place here. You may have been the center of a group of people's life where they've been taking in at you and maybe you didn't know that the whole time but right now it's going to be exposed to you everything is going to be put out on the table for you and you will have the option to decide how you want to move forward if you want to have to have a relationship with this person if you want to build there's something here where you were supposed to receive some type of offer promotion something like that and people took some type of drastic action to interfere with that to block you from receiving it but i'm being told that this offer is still yours at the end of the day so it's going to come to you at the right time whenever it's supposed to it's going to make its way to you so i wouldn't worry too much about it um you could be a king of cups or this is the person you're supposed to be connecting with you could be a, a feminine energy that's very intellectual things like that so you may be aware of what's going on you could be a high priestess yourself uh, so you may have some type of inner knowing about what's going on there could be a masculine in here that you're familiar with maybe you had a family with this person in the past and they may have breadcrumbed you and they may not want to come back to you but it looks like things are not going in their favor they're going to have to kind of move on with their life there's something going on here where it's that they're not able to come in and kind of start things over with you anymore if this is someone you dated or if this is someone that you were just kind of close to someone in one of that was someone that was like, I don't know if you interacted with this person regularly on um, or something like that, or you were just really well acquainted with them. But this person cannot come in and deceive you. They cannot come in and break from you, whatever this is, okay? Who they may have paid someone as well for some of you in the past to cause you some type of hindrance. Someone went out of their way to block anything from being put in the balance for you so if you were supposed to receive a promotion they interfere with it if you were supposed to receive some type of love offer they interfere with it 
anything you were supposed to receive that was supposed to elevate you, this masculine interfere with it. And they didn't realize the whole time that things were going to be balanced out. I think someone kept going with something, kept going and kept going and kept going. And they didn't realize that they were working against themselves. It's like taking action against someone to destroy them. But then in the end, when you realize you've been coming after someone innocent and you don't have any more chances to get back with them, reality sinks in and you're like, man, I've destroyed my opportunity to get back with this person, to heal whatever this is with this person. So someone knows that they're not able to come back and give you an offer so that you two can move on to a more steady ground. With this here in the reverse, this means that things will not be recovered. There will be no balance being brought into this situation because you get to move on with your life. I'm getting like this is possibly an ex or something like that. Whatever this is, this is someone from your past. And I don't know if if it's an ex. Or, I, I feel like it's an ex, but it, it don't have to be. And the reason why I'm feeling like it's an ex is because of that Ten of Cups that's above that King of Cups. Um, maybe you two had a family together and everything. Um, but it does not have to be. This could just be someone that, that maybe can be even like a best friend or something like that. I don't know. But someone from your past, you and them will not be reconnecting because they did quite a lot to destroy the connection that you two had someone is very toxic and they're hoping to come in to have some type of new victory with you and it's just not happening because someone was supposed to be working on themselves right right working on healing but all someone has done is like digress since you two either separated or you two kind of uh uh, when I don't know when you're separate ways or something like that, they've digressed drastically, so they're not doing very well. They're not able to come in and give you an offer, they're not able to come in and deceive you. Whatever offer they're coming in to give you is not really one that's solid anyway. There's some type of ulterior motive. This is the kind of masculine that'll come in your life, just to kind of breadcrumb you so no one else can give you an offer. Um, they just they want you to be blocked and this lets me know that this is someone that's into some some form of dark magic because they are saffening your energy they're blocking your destiny your future so that they can keep moving forward it's said, oh yeah i'm in a happy relationship i don't want her to be in a relationship so i'm going to interfere with her connections and people can see that i'm in a happy relationship so i was in the right she was the one who was wrong because my life is going in the right direction my life is elevating and her life is digressing but what people don't know is that this person is taking actions behind the scenes to make sure that your life does not progress right so someone is doing quite a lot and has been doing quite a lot and now that it's out in the open everything is illuminated about what this person was doing they are going through some type of i don't know disappointment frustration someone is angry behind the scenes because they know you're still going to be receiving some type of genuine offer from someone else. It could be a queen, king of pentacles, an uh, emperor, whoever it is, but you will be receiving, it could even be a king of wands. You will be receiving a genuine offer from someone um, so that you can move on with your life. You deserve to have happiness and joy in your life. And this is what this person has been uh, trying to prevent. Basically, this person is saying, well, if, if I cannot have you, if you're not going to return to me, then I'm going to make your life miserable. I want to make sure no one connects with you, but it's not happening. Someone has been blocked out of your energy, so he's not even able to come in and cause any type of hindrances and chaos because this is what he's accustomed to doing is, you know, causing hindrances. Yeah, causing hindrances in your relationships with people um, because he knows that you are someone that's very smart he this is like someone realizing that they rejected a diamond for coal so maybe they saw a, they found a coal and it was coated in some type of gold foil or gold covering or something and then maybe you were the diamond but you were dusty you know looking raggedy maybe even laying in the mud or something like that and he looked at you maybe even spit on you and things like that and he said look there worthless piece of stone laying there and he you know Maybe he even picked you up, tossed you around, played with you and things like that. And then when he was done, he, you know, tossed you back into the mud, went on his way. And he came across a coal covered in gold foil. And he said, oh, look at that beautiful thing there. And, you know, he picked it up. He went along his way. He admired the sparkles and things like that, the shimmer that was coming off of that 
off of their gold foil and he took it home he you know put it on a pedestal all kinds of stuff made it the center of his uh living room or something like that meaning the center of his world um uh, only to realize as it sat there something interesting started happening the foil began to start fading away it started tearing up little by little every time he touched it more and more of the foil came up and then it got to a point where he started seeing the dark the blacks the blackness and he said well what what's going on here gold is not supposed to be black on the inside it's still gold on the inside it's supposed to be gold on the inside right and it kept peeling off and peeling off all of the gold foil fell off and all he has is this black substitute laying in his hand and he does not know what to do with it well you know you can save the coal in the winter time you can use it to light fire so you can stay warm useful for something uh so now he may not want to come back on that path that trail that he tossed that diamond back on you know where in the mud and stuff well he comes back the diamond is not there because you know what someone went and picked the diamond up washed the diamond cleaned the diamond off the diamond is all sparkling they've wiped it off dry you know everything and they're like well i don't want to sell this diamond it's worth quite a lot and i love looking at the diamond you know it's very valuable and things like that so i'm just going to keep the diamond right so someone may have this this is like a scenario that's going on someone sees you as a precious stone something some not something but you know what i'm trying to say a, a very precious jewel to them right they see your value and now that they see your value whoever this is from your past is now wanting to come in to take you from them or to block them from coming to you because of the fact that that person sees your value this person didn't see your value before but because someone else sees your value now they now see your value you don't want to go backwards in life okay before we're moving if they didn't see your value before when you were in whatever state that was they're not going to see it now they're going to be a constant disappointment in your life because this is someone that does not have all of their screws in their tight a lot of the screws are loose so they're always going to be a disappointment to you <clears throat> this is like a destiny blocker every time something is going well in your life this will be the person to come in and cause you some type of stagnation or blockage right these are the people when you talk to them about how about your dreams all of the uh, business ideas and things like that you have all your inspirations they'll find a way to talk you out of it um, because they don't have that mindset to dream of things to create and to develop and to establish any type of entities or businesses and things like that right the only type of entities they bring into the world are those dark energies that are meant to take away from you and drain you of your energy so please be mindful with who you are connecting with when it comes to the past be absolutely mindful this person this your ex or whoever this king of cups is has been working with other people behind the scenes to cause you some type of uh, uh, just blockage ending, but you're going to be connecting with the right person. And this person may be even advocating for you. They may be taking action to come into your energy or comes to come towards you so you two can have some type of clarity, uh, have some type of sit down. I see two people sitting down at a table, like in a restaurant or something, and they're talking they're talking things out and it's a very respectful and diplomatic conversation very tactful uh so i see a man and a woman i don't the man seems to be of a dark complexion so is the woman but the man is a little bit darker than the woman okay and they're sitting down and having a conversation something like that going on they're bringing clarity there's something where this man has something to say to you and you're doing you the feminine energy you're doing more of a listening i think you're upset internally you you're angry about something because you know what they were doing behind the scenes you're upset but you're still giving them a listening ear and i think that's because you're someone of high character even when people piss you off maybe you're like myself even when people piss you off you'll still give them a listening ear just so you can have understanding of the it of the situation for yourself you're not doing it for, you're not doing it specifically for them you're doing it for you right you you refuse to let anyone have you scoop to 
any level that is not yours, scoop low to a level that is not yours. So you always try to take the higher road. And I think people in this situation, especially the ex of yours, didn't understand that he assumed that you were a pushover because you choose to take the mature route, the tactful route, the route that's respectful. You're not out here being loud and obnoxious and all of that, right? So people will oftentimes misunderstand those personalities for something that it's not or they're not okay but there will be some type of communication between you and this person you and this masculine um where you two will be speaking your truths okay and you two may even end up working together very well he's absolutely walking away from someone or something or even a place an institution something like that okay he's walking away okay i think this person has just cut their loss like he knows like there's really nothing he can do especially when it comes to this false empress there's really nothing he can do and i don't even think there's anything he wants to do when it comes to mending this relationship or anything with her i think he's just done and just wants to move on someone is more so concerned on how their life is going to end up when they get older or uh, you know that desire to experience genuine love that equal give and take love where you take care of each other look out for each other i think that's where a masculine's head is right now but the woman that he is either with or just left her mind is not able to grasp those types of concepts because this is someone very superficial in being you have an offer of an ace of pentacles coming in this is absolutely secure for you so you will be celebrating very soon the ace of cups is showing up as well so you're about to have everything you ever dreamed of so if anyone ever i'm telling you the ace of wands as well new beginning so if anyone has ever tried to make you feel like you are not worthy of a commitment you are not worthy of uh, getting married you were never going to get married you that's a lie that is a lie okay i'm telling you this king of cups here you and him are not partnering up together he has done too much he has absolutely done too much behind the scenes and now that he's destroyed his life with you any possibilities of you and him reconnecting and he knows that this is someone gifted but he misuses his gifts as well he has destroyed all possibilities of you and him getting together so someone could be very bitter and angry behind the scenes, losing their temper, maybe even considering doing something drastic, but nothing he does is going to come into fruition because you're someone heavily protected. This new beginning is still protected. It is secure. You are still going to be giving all of the things that you want in life, all the things your heart desires in life, because what you desire in life is what the universe desires as well this man has lost protection from his ancestors as well if he had an angel that was watching over him which he did everybody does this angel may be must this angel may be a uh, very disappointed in him because this was the lifetime where he was supposed to get something right he was supposed to grow and go through some type of change right some type of ascension this is what was supposed to happen instead he made the wrong path he took the wrong path made the wrong decision and now he's living in fear anxiety and things like that um he does not know you know what the future holds for him he thought he was going to do all of this mess leave you out in the cold he was going to leave you out in the cold but then still come back and be able to work things out with you that lets me know that someone may think that you're very naive and this will explain why he would have went through all of this pull all of these stunts did all of this manipulation caused all of this conflict and problems and still went to sleep at night and had a good night's sleep he thought you were naive that you were still going to take him back when he came to you but it's not happening the contract between the two of you are void they're not you and this person possibly will never meet again in any lifetime is how this is okay so whoever you're about to uh connect with you two are going to be going through some type of growth together not just financially but emotionally spiritually as well mentally just in every way shape and form like two households are about to come together the person you're connecting with may have a child a daughter a son something like that they could even have other children that just don't live with them or something like that but two families will be coming together two 
past are coming together to create a new abundant and prosperous one and it's absolutely beautiful uh there could be some type of ritual going on behind the scenes with the people that uphold this union from coming together even though your ex is extremely toxic just know that he was not the only one that was out here against this whole relationship there was a whole group of people i don't know why this is out in the reverse but i guess it must be meant to be the way it came out and i picked it up it's why i put it that way and again the story always comes out like it's supposed to um this uh 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 King of Cups was not the only one going up against you behind the scenes. As I said, it was a whole group of people. This masculine that you're supposed to be connecting with, his friends and family were part of it. This uh, ex of yours, he collected a whole group of people as well to work with him against you and to block this union from coming together. And I'm getting something about two men in competition where one is kind of just sitting back and letting the other one make a fool out of himself and destroy his opportunities and his chances of connecting with his with the person he's interested in um something like that so this would be your ex so you two possibly split up and he realized that someone was interested in you and he started taking some type of action to compete with this other masculine or to do something i don't know what this is um but someone basically sat back and let another masculine just kind of destroy his chances of getting back with you um his the excuse me the protection this person had before is not there anymore someone is being seen as like an embarrassment to their lineage and someone has been an embarrassment to their lineage for a long time but you coming into contact with this masculine this king of cups whoever this was you coming into connection with him was like a last leg for him this was his last chance to do right, to kind of, I guess, help his his bloodline recover, heal, go through some type of growth. Because there's something where I'm seeing where a masculine in his families and his friends, they have some type of cult-like mentality. Um, and it's been something that has been passed down for a long time or something they've been involved in for a long time. And this was their chance this lifetime to do things differently, right? To change the trajectory of your lineage. But the actions he took against you has ensured another lifetime, another few lifetimes of their of this bloodline of his going through the same thing, setbacks, disappointments, and things like that. These are people that don't know how to manifest on on their own they're not able to and this is because of the things that they indulge in um things like that so there's some type of ending he's absolutely going through that he's not able to uh, um he won't be able to recover from it because there's a lesson he failed to learn so there's a lesson he still needs to learn so the rest of this lifetime is going to be a little bit difficult for him can you you know how sometimes in movies when the villain when the villain is like carrying out his plans and he's all happy or she's all happy about it the things are going accordingly they're successful and, you know and they're going to take down the good guys and things like that and they're just happy and they give that maniacal laugh of theirs <laughs> you know they give that heavy maniacal laugh from their from their stomach right and they keep going and keep going and keep going. And there's that one thing that they do or that one person that they encounter that just changes everything. And that maniacal laugh turns into disappointment. Now they don't want to talk because they know the consequences that lie ahead. It's not that they didn't know the consequences of what, they didn't know the consequences of all their actions before. They always know before they even take action, they always know what the consequences are but you know this is how they're built so they'll still take action to carry out these uh, malicious plans and things like that right only for them to realize that things are not going in their favor there's something with like dark workers where they just feel like if i just do it one more time it's gonna get it's gonna go in my favor if i just keep going it's gonna go in my favor and it never does it never will you doing something one two three four five times and getting away with it it's not does not mean that there's no consequences for it. Spirit may just be sitting back and giving you chances to stop, 
to right your wrong, to learn from your lessons and things like that, to learn from what you're doing or to just have some type of epiphany that, hey, I probably shouldn't be doing this. You know, I'm going to get caught one day. But, you know, when they do something one, two, three, four times, they get away with it. They get they, Instead of kind of being hesitant because they know what they're doing is wrong, they'll instead get real comfortable and they start doing it over and over and over again until it becomes a part of who they are. They're accustomed to it. So they just keep doing it and doing it and doing it, right? <laughs> doing it and doing it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Anyways. There's something like that I was going on with this masculine. He has done everything he can to you to destroy your pathway, to destroy your connections and things like that. And there's really not much else he can do. But now he's at the point where he's realizing, oh, someone still wants to date this person. Someone still wants to marry her. Someone still wants to work with her. So now I have to go in because I know that she's not who I put her out to be. I have to be the one to go in and give her an offer but spirit is blocking him out of your energy he cannot come you two are not going to be working together you two do not have a contract together anymore that contract has been void he's being exposed as a liar they're not advocating for him anymore with this temperance out here in the reverse followed by the queen of swords in the reverse they're not advocating for this person he fell from grace and he's a liar basically and he cannot be trusted. Something like that is going on as well. And whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with, I said something about manifestation, right? They're not able to manifest like you. Whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with may be finding out now that someone may have lied to him. For some of you, these are two friends. You didn't date either. You were supposed to get with one of them and the other friend lied to him about you was there trying to cause hindrances. This could be like a religious figure or something that just does not act like a religious figure. Some religious figure has a hate for a feminine energy. Um, I don't know if this is because you're spiritual or because someone may have emotions for you, but you don't reciprocate those emotions either. There's something like that going on. Uh, um, he could be like a family member of this King of Pentacles as well. There's something in here about relations, family related, like blood related, or you know, a, 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 a maternal or paternal relationship, things like that. I don't know, romantic relationship. There's something in here about two masculines being familiar with each other. Something like that is going on here, okay? And one of them is false. The other one, there's something about his mental where he stays in his mind quite a lot. He can be easily manipulated by the people he trusts, people he should not be trusting in the first place. It's just too much going on. But whoever this King of Cups is has fallen from grace. Um, who knows? There could be both going on in here, right? Anyways, whoever this King of Cups is has fallen from grace. He's being seen as a liar. This is someone very vain, uh, very manipulative, right? He does not have a connection to source that has been taken away. He may have participated in something for money. He may even, even be part of a, co a coven. This is someone that causes a lot of illusions and things like that, right? Because I keep hearing the word intimidated. So he's intimidated by a feminine energy because you're like a powerhouse. Someone pretends to be very knowledgeable, but he does not know nothing. And know nothing is an understatement. This is like a clown on air hair walking around, okay? Uh, so he's intimidated a little bit by you. They told me to correct my little bit. He is immensely intimidated by you. But you two do not have a contract together, whether this is his friend or whether that's your ex. You don't have a contract together anymore. It has been voided, okay? So you're going to be having a contract with someone else, an emperor, a king of pentacles. I mean, the emperor... The emperor is a masculine that embodies all the energies of the kings in the deck. So he's the king of cups. He's the king of wands, king of swords, king of pentacles. So this could just be one aspect of him that's showing up here and another aspect of him down there as well, right? But what I know is there's a second party in here that you do not have a contract with that wants to force some type of relationship with you, but he cannot, okay? because he caused too many illusions i'm telling you and he's living in fear because he knows 
you two will be coming together you will have this genuine love you two will be healing i said something about a table and the four of swords is out here you and this person absolutely will be having some type of meeting at a table where you'll be healing things over right um someone sees you as their wish fulfillment right they are manifesting some type of collaboration with you they are manifesting some type of uh, 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 alliance with you they hold you in very high regards okay someone holds you in high regards and he sees you as very, yeah he sees you as very wise maybe they told him that you were someone that was idiotic they didn't know two plus two they didn't know nothing but he's seeing you as someone very wise he holds you on a very high pedestal um and this may be something that a lot of people around him are envious of they're intimidated by this they know that you're a little bit different from everybody else as well. It, I, what I get is just like a group of people are intimidated by one feminine energy or a masculine energy. So they went out of their way to block a union from coming together. The second reason for that also is because there's a lot of money in here some way, somehow. This could be a business or this person could be extremely wealthy. Um, and this is why they don't want the two of you coming together because they don't want him to bring any type of stability in your life because it's easier for these people to bully you and cause you endings and things like that. But once you have a masculine in your life that you are working with um, and you get to stable ground and they can't really do anything to you, this gives you the upper hand. But what I'm seeing is you already have the upper hand and this is because the universe supports you. So you already have the upper hand in this situation. Judgment has already been called, so things are already going in your favor. As you can see here, you're taking charge of your life and bringing stability into your life, staying in this energy of your this energy of your blissful energy. You're very independent and self-sufficient. You don't rely on outside sources for your livelihood or for your happiness, your joy, your contentment in life. You're very business savvy and things like that. You're, you're multifaceted, right? Very gifted things like that and you're healing right you give genuine love and that's something this person may want that no one else has been able to give to them right <clears throat> so just by you being you has given you the upper hand in this dynamic whatever it is we want to call it just you being you gives you the upper hand gives you the power and then you could be someone that's gifted as well as i mentioned before you could be a high priestess uh, a higher fan, whatever it is, a temperance energy, a uh, uh, star C. You already have the upper hand. You've always had the upper hand. I'm telling you, and this is coming in the reverse again, which means that this masculine will not be able to end, start, end nothing with you. Like he's in some type of karmic chapter that is just not going to be ending. He still has a lesson to learn, just as I had said earlier. And with that world coming out in the reverse, that's, that's just been reiterated to you all. That this King of Cups that has fallen from grace has a lesson to learn. He's still stuck in some type of old chapter, may have gotten in a relationship with someone very karmic, someone that's disappointing him. He may have rushed and got married as soon as you split, you two split up or something like that. And he's seen some type of karmic chapter with someone that he just had no business being with. I don't know if someone got married for money. I don't know what it is, honey, and I'm not about to insinuate. But whatever chapter he's in right now is not over. There's still lessons. There's karma in there for him to learn. So he's where he needs to be, and you are headed where you need to be, and you're about to be like on the world stage. This could be something as well they were trying to prevent from happening for you. So if you were putting in all of this genuine effort into your work, something you're very passionate about, which is very important there's something in here that's letting me know that a masculine cares about people caring about what they're doing and he knows that you're very passionate about what it is you do you're very genuine the energy you put into what it is you do is very genuine you have a lot of compassion and um and uh, interest in what it is you're doing some people do certain things just because it brings money for them however you're doing it because it's fulfilling but ironically, you're going to end up having both. You're going to not just have the money, but you're going to love what you're doing. So you're going to have both, right? And then you're going to have this love on top of that. 
Um, people are going to love you as well. People are going to admire you as well. Um, people are going to really want to be in your energy because it's very healing and fulfilling. And that's something this person sees about you and admires as well. So it looks like things are going in your favor, collective, as always. When does it not go in your favor? That must be something that pisses someone up behind the scenes that things always work out for you. It's like they're saying that they did everything to end you, cause you blockages, but at the end of the day, things are still going in your favor. So this is something that someone is upset about behind the scenes. Is that how can this one person be this powerful? How can this one person have this much favor on their life and be this blessed? Why are they this protected? Someone keeps asking themselves that because every time they take action against you, it's, it turns around and it bites them in the behind some way, somehow, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. But someone, I don't know if this is another masculine, is with a woman that's always fighting with him because he knows or she knows that he wants to have a genuine connection with someone else. He may see you as his twin flame, soul twin, his higher level soulmate. I don't know what it is he sees you as, but she knows that he wants to go somewhere else and he's she's fighting with him to block this connection from coming together. But it still will. It's absolutely going to. Okay. Um, this masculine, if he did something in the past to interfere with your livelihood, your resources, he he may be going through some type of um uh, what do I want to call it? Shame. He's feeling very ashamed for that. Or maybe he's coming towards you to let you know that someone caused you some type of loss, what they did behind the scenes and things of that nature. But uh, overall, you two will be meeting, having some type of closure, and you'll have to decide if you want to move forward with this person. Um, and it's going, going to be up to you if you want to move forward with them or not. But I will advise you to read their energy, take time to get to know them as well, to study them, to see if they're genuinely interested in you. Um, because people can be really good at putting a mask on um, when they want something from you and they see that they can get something from you. So I would take my time with this person. Don't rush into anything with them. Okay, let's go ahead and find out our angel messages for the end of the read okay so we have zero yeah new start it says there is no beginning and no end all is in all is infinite it is time to develop your spiritual side you are gaining new insight and understanding of both godly and uh, and earthly things lord have mercy there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are you are gaining new insight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. I am limitless. Amen to that. <clears throat> this is the limitless card in the deck. The two of wands. This is limitless. This is like you're at the beginning of, of something and you're open-minded. So this creates... Oh, this is one of, because the fool is another limitless card too. So you're embarking on a new journey, new opportunities, starting some new business, new crap, and the possibilities are limitless for you, right? The success and things like that, as long as you're willing to put in that work, okay? It, the horizon, right? You're looking at the horizon and the possibilities are limitless. This is what the two of one is, looking at the horizon and choosing a new path because you have endless options available to you. And now we have 14, which comes down to five, working towards something, moving on and things like that. It says you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful uh, and practical. Absolutely. And would you look at that? We started with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is one of the most practical people in the deck. Okay, so you're being advised to be practical about a situation or your life or any type of new adventures or uh, endeavors that you are taking on. Okay, you know, five, five, five. Um, so this is going, oh, excuse me. I got to clean my eye. 
This is gonna sum down to six, uh, moving on to karma waters, healing, recovery, ascension, right? Spiritual ascension or even physical in some cases, but it's mostly spiritual ascension, moving on to karma waters, starting new and things like that, recovering from the past, okay? It says a major shift is about to come into lower life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic, I'm telling you, change. Okay, so thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.